Credence Clearwater Revival. I'm saying that correctly, right? I put a spell on you. Now, I've heard I've put a spell on you before from another artist uh, who is Angelina Jordan, who performed that song at nine years old, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, go check that one out as well. It's a really interesting song, uh, sung by a, a very young artist at the time. But now, Credence Clearwater to Revive... Uh, uh, clear, clear, cre that's a mouthful of words. Credence Clearwater Revive. I'm just going to call him CCR. That's way easier. Uh, CCR, who did like a, a, a Born on the Bayou is right there. We did that one too. Uh, very good songs uh, they have. And uh, I'm very curious how they do it. So let's go check this out. Thank you, Mary, very much for this uh, donation request. We're live streaming this on YouTube as well. And go check out the original artist. That voice is just so distinct. You better stop the thing that you do. That's a one in a million voice. I said, oh, watch out. I ain't lying. Yeah. I ain't gonna take none of your fooling around. So already the version from uh, Angelina Jordan and the version from this, I'm not going to compare them as in which one's better or whatever, but I'm, I'm using that as a reference. Uh, that version was way more... <laughs> slower, more calm. This is already more... I put a spell on you. More... That epic rock sort of voice, you know. It's, it's a lot more powerful, even though Angelina's version is also very powerful in its own right. This is more gritty powerful, you know what I'm saying? Very good. I said, oh, watch out. I ain't lying. Yeah. I ain't gonna take none of your fooling around. I ain't gonna take none of your for putting me down. A right ear solo. My right ear is fucking loving this man.
in the previous track that we listened to on the bayou, uh, this is something I noticed again with Creedence Clearwater Revival. The solos the, are always in the mid part of the track. It's like a little, you have the solo in the mid part of the track and the solo is always a big proportion of the song. Now this is, I think, just a CCR like formula. It's how they make their music. They have the singing repeated a couple of times, sort of, maybe with small changes. Then they have a big part of, a big solo part in the middle. And then they return to their singing for the last piece and then it ends. That was with on the bayou as well. And I think that's just their formula. I really like this, uh, this commitment to the big part of the solo. Hey, that's a cat. So the original, I'm reading this now here in the live stream chat. I'm live streaming this on YouTube. The original was written and recorded in 1956 by Screaming Jay Hawkins. And uh, the person who said that, Mary, who also requested this track, says she's never, never listened to that one before. Um, uh, which to Valoria, also somebody in the chat, says, it's great, you should check it out. So maybe we'll do a reaction to that uh, in the near future to, um, yeah, just find out more about music in general. You know, I like that. Especially, it's the same thing when I found about, um, what is it? MC Hammer can stop this and the original. From that, you know, I'm like, oh, you just know more about music in general. I like, the, I like to find that out. So guys, go check out CCR. Uh, thank you again, Mary, very much for the donation request and the good request that I can also upload to the YouTube channel. I hope y'all watching at home like this and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>